Yeah, I think yesterday yesterday must have took a toll on us mentally as well because we're not with it today. <laughs> the plan was get this done, get the edgings in and get that foundation concreted today while well, I had my extra man, but it um, wasn't to be. Good morning, day two, my last day before I go off to uh, Sweden to see the girlfriend. But today, it's full steam ahead with work. So, plan today is, we're gonna get everything concreted. So, I think first thing we're gonna do is get the echoes concreted in, get them sorted. Then, obviously we've got these to go in, and then we've gotta dig a footing for this radius wall that we're building. So, we're gonna get that set up when we can. Right now we're just uh, waiting for some power. Right, I think once the once we've knocked in like the customer over here, we'll get plugged in and then start some digging. So yeah, I think that's about it. So Dad's here with his mixer. He's got his wellies on ready, mixing some concrete. Bring the um, hose up. Not our hose. We bring the hose out. Put on full blast. Yeah. Not much on. Were you doing any? Are we doing any mortars today or? No. Just concrete. Just concrete. Echoes, echoes, edgings, foundation. Are the, are the edgings just going this side? Just this side. Right. Uh, because the fence, if you look over the other side, so bits of brick and breeze block and stuff like that. So we're going to put our edgings in along the actual fence post. It's all to drive back, and then wherever they decide to do the drive, they've got the curb edging to work to, you can always put block pavers down it, whatever, but the, the actual drive's held. Yeah. <coughs> and then. We've rang up Steve from Jane Napier, he's going to be picking all this up on Monday, did he say? Monday, yeah. So Monday all that will be gone and a big load of... Three tonne of demo material, we're taking its place. So, and obviously we'll just, yeah, well, Dad, we'll just be spreading that out. So, whatever the customer decides, whether she wants tarmac or edgings or flagging, it's all laid there ready then. But anyway, enough talking. Let's get you set up somewhere and then we'll start some digging. Again. So right now, we're just getting the drainage set up because of where this pipe is and the way this uh, tarmac is, it's higher here. So what we're going to do is, we're going to redirect the pipes this way, have it come up here and then have the a bit of a fall on the echoes just to compensate for it to uh, line up with that tarmac. So I'll get you set up while we figure this out and as it tries to rain on us. Really long one here behind you. Yeah. This can be adjusted. Um, might put a piece in there. You want to run parallel with that really. So what we got? Uh pushing adapter a T two th uh, two thirties, a straight coupler. Put two pushing adapters in case that band seal won't fit. Times two. Yep. Anything else? I don't think so. Oh, um, lubricant. Lubricant. And obviously ties and, ties and plugs. Yep. Just send that to me. Ties and plugs. Okay. Get that sent to you now. Okay, that's all sent over to Dad. So now he's gonna go off and pick up that stuff, leave me again, and I think I am gonna get some of that dug for the, uh, for the curbs. Make sure plenty's dug out. Hey? Make sure plenty's dug out. Yeah. How, uh, how, how wide am I digging it? Just over the width of the, the, the echo. Wait, wait, I thought I was digging that bit. Wait, this, this, this bit, um, this, this is probably four inches wide, maybe. The width of the small spade. Right. Because you, you've got your, your, your 
your engine, you can probably the same amount of concrete either side of it. Yeah. Probably 100, 150 mil. Okay. This is just your line to work to. You want to be, you want to be a good 200 below this. 200? Oh no. Yeah. Whew. Right, we're filming now because uh, obviously Dad's done his tool station run, got all the supplies that we needed. Oh. As I was saying, <coughs> Dad's got all his uh, pipes and stuff needed, so I'm just gonna get them all attached. He's cut the pipe off, cut the collar off. Now it's just a case of getting all the things to line up. I'm getting a mixing at the moment for concrete so that's where I'm vanishing off to but there you go. Didn't get the lubricant. Oh. Where was it? Hey. Where was it? Back in the van. Oh. There we go, Chris has averted, we've got the lubricant. I'm gonna get a bloody shirt back on. Where, where is the spanner? You had it, didn't you? No, the spanner was put back in the same
Do you want to show them your, your, your handiwork? Look at it. Not sure they're 50, I think that's a 30, then a 15, then a piece, a T, band seal, and a push in. <laughs> that's, that's cost a fortune, that little tiny section there. I'll tell you what, we'll push it up. <laughs> that's come out. Yeah, there's the paper cut out. And so now we can branch off now. Put our bends in there and bring that echo back into here. Yeah, you can see the gist of it now. It's like there, and it's going to meet up here at the end. Bit of digging now, and I'll just tighten these band seals up. We should have some stuff in now. It should be the battery in there. Yeah, it feels like it. Yeah. All right, so there you go. My uh, mix is almost ready. For whenever Dad's ready, and yeah, I'll uh, get you set up somewhere. Shoot when you fit. Hey Dad, yep. 20 minutes of footage I got you then, number 162. Yeah. I see it in the screwdriver. I was about to say that, that's easier than clapping it with the flathead. Boom. Boom. Now, now so I can adjust that wherever I want it now. I've got a lot of the screwdriver, so we can't over tighten it. Cracking little kit, this. We yeah, as We bought that one. We paid for that one. When we bought this, we needed the rattle a bit, so we bought that. There you have it. Battery died, and we forgot to change it. But, uh, progress. We've got some macos in. But um, unfortunately, like I say, battery died, so we've got to hit play. But they're going in all right so far. We've got them hooked up to the Fitz bricks. Got one like set to the height there, and one here. So then um, just running them in and concreting them. I'm doing the uh, mixes for Dad. I'm just laying the concrete for him. He's setting them, setting it down, and putting the echoes in. And we had a bit of a, uh, a smooth brain moment today. We were there fretting that we didn't have the right curve. Uh, the right bend to go in, and then at lunchtime we just we realised. My bulb. Why don't we just dig? Make the trench fit the pipes. Make the trench work. So, uh, yeah, I think yesterday yesterday must have took a toll on us mentally as well because we're not with it today, <laughs> it seems. But so that's what Dad's doing there. He's, I've made a quick start, but I'm going to get the next mix in. So he's doing that. But yeah, I'll get you set up now so you can actually watch the echoes go in. How's that? See you in a sec.
Right. Alex just get me some stone. That, as usual, looks nothing. That's took us half a day, that. We're originally going to put, just put this, um, just put a, a tea on it and come straight back into a, into the echo. Echo. Put that end, the, the drive slopes away that way. So we're going to have to put that at the far, at the, sh at the low end. So we're coming through pretty level here. And it just drops off, otherwise the, the echo will be sticking up above this drive here. So we're just going to try and follow what's there. So we're all in now. Nearly ran out of pipe. Putting bits and collars and stuff, trying to make it work. And I found a piece of pipe around the back, which is 1100 we need a 950 piece. So that's in now. Got our, got our 245s to get a shallower bend at that end, straight into the T. And then you've got the gully flushing it through. With the insert pipe, insert one end, uh, band seal on the other. Oh, what a palaver. And we've dug the trench wider to get the 30 degree bending. Otherwise, we can't get the echoes in today. Because it's Saturday afternoon, everything's shut. And I thought we didn't want to go to Wigan to the B&Q. So, the plan was get this done, get the edgings in, and get that foundation concreted today. While I had my extra man. But, um, wasn't to be. That's probably about three o'clock now. We'll just have to. We've got to get the echoes in. That's 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 a given. And then maybe get a couple of edgings in if we've got any concrete left. So yeah, um, let's go and turn it again while we get this in. Right, there's my boy, just got the steel start again because we're really congratulating each other, saying how great we've done and look how great it looks and wow, made up first time, blah blah blah. You see it drops away there. But when you stand that end and look that way it looks great. When you stand this end and look down it, it's nice and straight till you get to the end there. Sure, if we're straighter than that, it just wants kinking out, get kink out of it, so we're going to do that now.
Right, what a day. It was a bit of a tough one, but we soldiered through. As you can see, echoes are in, drains in, and Dad's just back filling up now. And we did manage to get three curbs in. So we're over half done with the curbs, so well done. Boom. But yeah, it was a tough one, but we managed to get managed to get what we set out done today. Well, most of it. Hard work. So tough. <laughs> awkward. Not awkward. Yeah, awkward. And the rain didn't help, and the humidity. A lot of the elements were against us today, but so I won't be seeing you until I don't know what job I'll be seeing you at next. But I hope you all are doing good. <coughs> hope you all take care. Uh, be sure to uh, like and subscribe to the channel while I'm gone, because again, it's a massive help. We greatly appreciate it. I'll have to uh, I'll have to film a template for Dad to use in the videos while I'm while I'm not here. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you soon. But um, pass you over to Dad tomorrow. Take it, take it from here, Dad.